and Hot Topics, where we ask our panel members to chime in on things that are going on in the social stratosphere and in the news and in our country during this pandemic. And so we have a couple of uh, a couple of topics that have become that come up recently, and we're going to get everybody's um, ideas on those. And so we're going to start out with um, Miami beaches. So recently, uh, Miami, uh, Texas has been the first state to actually reopen their economy. Um, with the rollout plan that the president has provided with the governors for the several for several states, and um, Miami was second. So Miami opened its beach up, and within one hour, it was completely flooded, yeah. flooded with patrons. I mean, they were flooded. They, nobody was six feet apart. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody was in the water, out the water. They, they, it was life as normal. Do you guys think that this is too soon? Yes. Way too soon. Yeah. Way too soon. What the hell is going on in Florida? Uh, it's Florida. Florida. <laughs> it's Florida. It's right. Florida. They're still supposed to be. Florida. I don't. It ain't everybody in Florida. But it's there's not. Some fools it's down a there. large amount. <laughs> it's a large amount. <laughs> That's Florida. Uh, I read water. a meme. I read a meme <laughs> yesterday. Said if remember said if you had to if you had to sacrifice one part of the country to end the quarantine, where would it be and why Florida? <laughs> because it's Florida. It's that Florida water. Yeah. That's it's, why. It seems like, yeah, it seems like, um, it seems like they're always in the news for something. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I, I get it. But I, don't, I wouldn't have been there. I'm, I'm all no, for letting people in the house. But I, I would have been at the beach. I wouldn't have been there. You want to call me there. there. There's no. supposed to be like a second wave of the virus to hit. So I'm just really trying well, to understand. If it hits Florida, we know what happened. It, it was right there at Miami Beach, right outside like, of be, Fat Tuesday. I'm going to stay six feet away from you in the water. Yo, that makes Doesn't sense. Doesn't sound sensible. Yeah. No. So, no. Okay. And do you feel like it was like an over quarantine? Because they literally made like big box stores tape off areas that were not essential. So you couldn't get gardening supplies. You couldn't get building supplies. You couldn't get um, like just basic like bedding and decoration stuff for your home. If I'm stuck in a house, why would you not, like this might be the perfect time for me to renovate my home, but I can't buy building supplies. Is there such thing as being over quarantined? They can still buy stuff online though. Like Walmart, Target, Amazon, all those places are still, so you're not completely cut off from your decorating project. <laughs> your decorating project. <laughs> let, let's not, let's not go no. your right to not Okay, they're not here. being a right. <laughs> No. Yeah, they there's wanna, a they time and a place yeah. right. when there's yeah. not an entire virus it's running called, rampant in it's the world. Called, it's called online. It's called it's online. Online. Okay. online. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I, online, I just bought online pillows. Delivery, delivery <laughs> so times like, were like <laughs> two weeks. Like some of the delivery times were like two weeks to a month online. Yeah, that's so. true. That's so true, you'll be out of quarantine I mean, by the time your stuff comes. So. But that used to be the way the world worked. Just a exactly. few years ago, you didn't get okay. your stuff two days or two hours, right. uh, you know. Right, right. 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 got right. spoiled. Right. Mm-hmm. It was Relax. seven to 10 business days yeah. for everything. Yeah, it was, yeah. yep. This is yep. true. Remember, this you were being surprised showed up at the door like, oh yeah, I remember I ordered this. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, exactly. You forgot. Yeah, I forgot I ordered it. Right, from, from Finger Hut. Exactly. <laughs> we need to go back to the Finger Hut days where you knew it wasn't coming for two weeks. But you were in that catalog, honey. You were just like. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, so, so uh, another, another, another topic that's really near and dear to my heart um, because, you know, so much is happening and so many of these people being impacted, especially in in uh, a medical community and our first responders. And so it really broke my heart today to find out that Neiman Marcus is going bankrupt and they're mm-hmm. going to be closing. And, uh, you know, it was as a shopaholic of myself. Um, oh, I, I, my. I, I, so I'm you so telling me. I'm sitting here, I'm like, Neiman Marcus. Did you see my Are you touching all the time? Yeah. I'm hearing all my feelings, okay? We, we all. We all feel bad. We all feel different. No, okay? I don't feel bad. <laughs> Neiman was living paycheck to paycheck, and now no. they got to go. So mm-hmm. no, but what I'm gonna do with my I, my I have a, my Neiman card is twenty is up to twenty racks. What I'm gonna do? I, I don't know what to tell you. Donate uh, it back to them. Right. Donate it back to them. They obviously need it. Look, uh, D'Lo Brown, go look. Don't Man. okay. Don't don't shop shame me now. Don't shop. Shame me. <laughs> okay. When the pandemic is over, I'm gonna need. Well, okay, we, I gotta we, get we, dressed we, for the front room. How am I get dressed for the front room when I got no? I know. 
I'm um, so sorry. But, uh, okay, and so lastly, lastly, with everybody working from home, obviously this this whole show was birthed out of us being at home and want to interact and reach out and check on um, all of our friends in the industry and, and, and about to find out, make sure everybody's okay and how they're answering. A lot of people have taken to the internet as a, a secondary form of uh, income. And uh, one of the major sites is OnlyFans. OnlyFans uh, reported in March they had 350,000 new pages. Um, are we judging people for going to OnlyFans in order to to earn some income when they can't go outside? Are we judging them? I'm not, not judging. I'm not judging. I mean, I mean, I mean, not. I mean, of course, you have the right to. You have the right to do whatever you want to do. But I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people, feel like it's a, like you are. You should have. You should have something else in your arsenal. Like you shouldn't have to just go to. Uh, the, to start making twerk videos or showing, you know, showing your, your, your all your groceries for for you know seven dollars a person. Okay, and yeah. I feel like, and I feel I, like, you know, I feel like it's two sides to that story. And I, feel I, like I, I, I don't judge them for doing it. I judge anyone for making a living. So that word's thrown out. Number mm-hmm. two, I want for everyone to have multiple streams of revenue. And three, if this is a time where you're stuck at the house, why not use this time or a portion of your twerk money to learn a new skill? That's all. Got it. Got it. Got it. Dilo, what are your thoughts? I I do not judge anyone using OnlyFans. Um, I am an advocate for doing whatever you have to do to pay the bills. Um, My thing is I've learned that OnlyFans is not only used for sexual content. Um, People post things such as their art, uh, their feet, um, clothes. People are using OnlyFans for a variety of things. So I think, yeah, fitness. I think that people are assuming that everyone who has an OnlyFans account is doing something sexually explicit and that's not true. So I support everyone using OnlyFans. You know what? I didn't, I didn't. I didn't think about that because I mean, literally, it's called OnlyFans. So right. it started. It, it had to start out with something other than what the three hundred and fifty thousand new people are doing. But, <laughs> what? Um, but I agree. I agree. No. I think. I agree. I think that category set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They definitely. It's definitely. It's definitely some parental parental guidelines that I have to go on yeah. that. But. Um, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think I kind of feel like now in hindsight, I feel like they just have a bad, it has a bad reputation because yeah. I feel like as soon as you see OnlyFans, you automatically yeah. assume that it's X rated or that it's pornographic. And it, it literally can be anyone doing anything. It could be an artist just like sharing like unreleased music to their fans and all that. So, um, OnlyFans, if you're watching our show, which you will be one day, we, do, we are so sorry that we did not know that you have actually people on there. <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. I'm sorry. I can speak for myself. I can't. I'm sorry. Because I'm at the end, because I, I and what really what really what really changed my mind was that I was on um I was on uh, social media and uh-huh. a, this this girl she posted a picture and she said, Yo, she said, You guys can judge me for my OnlyFans page or not, but I just bought my first dream home when I'm twenty one years old. Hmm. So I'm like Okay. Like, yeah, no, that, so many that, that thing is selling. <laughs> let's say, let's say that. <laughs> okay, so I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't follow her. I didn't go see what she did. Right. Say, but I'm just saying, if I, if I'm sitting at home, if, if I'm sitting at home and I'm waiting on my, I'm waiting on my Trump buck check to hit my account. <laughs> So that my child can ravage it like a wild, like a like a like a like a Joe Joe Exotic Tiger. Uh, I'm not really in a position to judge somebody who's doing one something they enjoy, two is perfectly legal, and three that bought them a house. They're doing a house by the time they years old. So I think one, they get a, I think the site gets a bad rap because it's yeah. just known for. It's but known, it's, we didn't find out about it until it became X-rated. The only thing I was think I think about too is like just never put all your eggs in one basket. Like you, you know, we've been through a few different uh, social platforms: MySpace, Facebook, Instagram. You, you have to operate like these things won't turn on, though. So if I'm putting, yeah. putting all of my money or all my whatever from here, 
then who's to say that a new site won't come up and everyone's gonna flock over there now I can build my fan base. So it's always good to own your fan base and be able to deliver whatever it is that, whatever it is that you give to people to do it from your own website. So the only fan yeah. thing can be an entry point, but hey, you can come over to my website and you can get X, Y, and Z and I'm collecting that money. So no matter what it is that you do, I just think that you can't think that it's gonna last you know, forever. And that money forever, is quick right. and it's easy and it can go just as fast. This is right, true. so, mm -hmm. yeah, so, especially, especially Jamila looks sad, okay? <laughs> on, today's Ask, on today's episode of Ask Especially Jamila, she <laughs> says, build your own platform and then use uh, OnlyFans as a avenue to drive traffic to your platform so that if ever, because at the end of the day, it's just, a, it's just another app, and if it crashes, you still can support and shake your strong right. on your own time. You have to see a percentage, okay? like a commission off of my, you know what, like whatever that is, mm. like, no, I'm, right. I'm 100%. Okay. I know that's right. Okay. Give me that. Okay. 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 Give him his money. <laughs> okay, Rob, me, my, my <laughs> okay. Money. Thank you, guys. That wraps our 420 episode of Social Distraction. We will meet you next week when we talk about something else unimportant. Now we can joke. Okay, guys. <laughs>